Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another video. Something that I wanted to point out to you all that I've noticed regarding people who come to the UAE to either live or, um, you know, make hijrah. Now, you have different, of course, different, every nationality here in the UAE. Some of them are from Muslim countries and others, of course, are not from Muslim countries. Now, the observation that I've made is that the Muslims that are from Muslim countries, like Bangladesh, Pakistan, and, the, and the, um, you know, the, the Eastern Muslim countries, or the Stan countries, or, um, you know, despite them being from the former Soviet Union, like the Uzbekistan and um, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, what I've noticed is that they have a confidence that they can survive no matter what country they go to, you know, because I'm not saying that every single person, you know, knows all the details of Qadr and Iman, but they have the basic understanding that tawakkul, you know, you trust Allah and that Allah is going to provide for you no matter where you go. Um, and that belief comes from you being in a country where the Muslims are. You know, the Muslims are the ones who are in power. And there is no uh, belief system that is um, being forced down your throat or, uh, you know, fear mongered over the people. And yeah, that's what I've noticed. SubhanAllah, the Pakistanis have a, a lot of confidence. They're confident they can go anywhere. The Arab, they go anywhere in the world. And they say, Allah, Allah will take care of me. Allah has me. That's their mentality. Every last one of them. And on the flip side, what I notice is that Muslims from non-Muslim countries take on the fears, the doubts, and the hang-ups of that of the people in that non-Muslim country for, for, for those who are under Hindus you know Hindu regimes or I don't know if people call it a regime but Hindu govern, govern, uh, governing um, those who are under democracy uh, you know non-Muslim democracy and things like that they take on those fears those, those, those uh, doubts that I can't, you know, what are the risks, and what if this happens, and what if that happens, um, they're affected by it, they're affected by it, unfortunately, so that shows you the importance of being with your own, so that you can have the correct beliefs, because, just because uh, it, it seems as if you can practice your religion in the West, the reality is, you're taking on more from them than you know. You're taking on their mentality. Of course you are. You're taking on their beliefs. Of course you are. You hear it through the news. You hear it through just normal conversation, just interaction. And unfortunately, even the Muslims who went to migrate there, and they start to think the same way. When originally they probably didn't go there with that idea. But you get affected by the country that you move to. Sadly, you know? Allah so um yeah you know when the Sahaba they were in Mecca where the Allah went home they were establishing you know their belief in Allah and holding on to their religion being persecuted and things like that but when they went made hijrah to al Madina. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made Hijrah to Medina and then the Sahab, the Sahaba went first and then Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went. They were able to establish themselves and strengthen themselves in a way that you cannot do so under non-Muslims. It's just going to be deficient. You're not going to get the entire picture. 
you're not going to get the full package regarding Iman and establishing, um, you know, what you need to establish. <clears throat> like the jihad was not established until after the hijrah. Why? Because you can't play. How are you going to fight non-Muslims if they try to attack you and you're under them? That's just not how it works. So, yes, many benefits, more than you know, to making hijrah. It makes you a whole and complete Muslim as relates to your beliefs. Some people, they don't see the belief as that serious or maybe they didn't contemplate on it that much. How, how your identity is heavily impacted, your beliefs are heavily impacted by living amongst non-Muslims, taking from them, going to school with them, you know, listening to them. You get affected, your mind gets affected. You think how they think, you fear how they fear, you know? Um, and the Muslims, mashallah, you have the opportunity when you make hijrah to turn yourself inside out and really develop mentally. So that's what I wanted to bring up tonight. And I thank you all for tuning in as usual. And inshallah, I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget hijrah, mandate, sacrifice. Ma'asalamah.